Thank you, Raji, for inviting me today. I would say I feel blessed in many ways. And I know it's a long journey. And now it's like there are levels to it. And you keep on unfolding new things. So I feel I am unfolding new things every day in every subtle movement of, you know, life. If I'm meeting somebody, try to gauge as to if something is happening to me in the present moment or not. So what I've observed is that, you know, uh, in a situation, if I have to give a response, it is delayed from my end. I'm not responding. I'm not, you know, just deliberately responding right away, but delaying it and responding it based on the situation rather than my reaction to it. But having said that, that energy remains. If somebody is uh, angry in front of me, I'm not getting angry, but later on, I feel that that anger energy is still there. So how to change it? How to just let it go right away rather than, you know, carrying it along? Do you want a straight answer or sober quoted one? Straight answer. <laughs> the straight answer is that you cannot let it go immediately. But it will go immediately at certain point when we will be in the right state. What is the right state? The right state is that when we start giving value to the truth of who we are and a life that comes out of it. This energy belongs to the way of ego. Way of ego means the being that you are. You are always a being. You are There is no reality of ego apart from you living as ego. No? So you have been living in this way of person and that's why these reflexes, these channels, these patterns of energy are present in you. And they do live in you because of that old way. So that old way has not been broken, shattered at these levels yet. These levels still belong to the person state. No? Or being maintained in that way. Even if the person is not there anymore, you have started waking up to who you are. No? So at this level, the change will take place. But slowly. Like the more you will depend on your wisdom of being for the decisions, the more somehow these things will start getting aligned accordingly. No? Very beautifully somebody said, I don't remember the name right now, a beautiful teacher said that our mind or what we can call ego in this ego mind is serving a great purpose of trying to protect us from life. From life meaning life flow and people and everything. Like it is working as a guard for us. But as soon as the wisdom of the heart wakes up fully and the mind is able to see that the wisdom of the heart is enough to protect you in this world, the mind surrenders to the heart with folded hands. That okay, now I rest. So that maybe has not happened in you yet, that the wisdom of the heart has become so strong. Wisdom means the intelligence, you can say, of the heart has become so intel uh, so enough that it can take care of all the decisions and everything of the all the responses of life yet. No? So a wise being like you should do like this, that you should wake up the wisdom of your heart more. While you keep looking at these things, that trying to improve them a little bit as, as per your wisdom, but don't pay too much attention to them right now. Because right now they cannot be so easily changed. Because they all have an important role to play. They are all connected to something very important. And they are being nourished from there or being held from there. Like, so trying to remove those things is not only hitting your own another hand. Like from one hand we are holding these things and another hand we are trying to be free. We will feel hurt and we will feel the sense that I am not succeeding also. No. 
yeah it's it completely makes sense and i understand that if everything is connected everything good bad everything is connected so it's like i can see you know energy getting transferred if something is happening to somebody instantly at times the same thing has happened with me vice versa so i feel that it's not me who is doing it and it's not the other person who is doing something to me it's happening on its own we are just a part of it in some way or the other way so <laughs> yeah i i get it yeah i'm slowly reaching somewhere so yeah <laughs> thank you thank you so much uh, i i feel that the best will best place to reach will be to realize your truth the the core core and understanding or knowledge of that truth is that i am that i exist and then sticking to that truth and this environment is a perfect environment for that where you are not so much believing anymore that i am doing or you are doing and this is doing and that is doing you know you are more open in a way that like, hey things are kind of happening and in this things are happening where is the stability this truth i am that is the this is the place of stability which will give a certain orientation and kind of uh, mm, harmony to our life otherwise we may feel too disoriented also sometimes like am i supposed to say something now am i supposed to respond or keep quiet no confusions may happen like this also i am is a true center of the individual mm, self or individual expression of the one self it's a true center so sticking to the true center is a very good idea in the times when we are not clear about what is the complete truth of life because this will give us uh, so much more than we uh, everything good it gives us everything good wisdom it gives us clarity it gives us patience also like you are saying that i i kind of don't respond immediately it will give this same thing to you more much more like it will give you even the sense of spaciousness inside you so much more that those energies will remain in you but you will not mind that so much because you will be able to live that joyful space which is still left untouched or unaffected or unpolluted by that energy which is happening which is stirred up which got triggered no so this i am is a vast to spaciousness also it just the entry point of i am you know this i am is a vast spaciousness like it never runs out of space because something is happening too much like i'm too filled too much full of some you know never it never happens like this so whenever you feel oh some i'm not feeling happy with what is happening right now inside me you no know, energy then you can just gently try to focus bring your focus half half and half no on yourself also i am who is uh, experiencing this energy you know inside me because the, the 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 nature of energy and our attachment to it or our long lived relation with it is such that we get caught up in it immediately and now it's so difficult to get out of it believing that i am not in it or i can watch is a very good wishful thinking but generally it doesn't happen truly what can truly happen is that you some part of your attention you can bring to yourself i am meaning i am caught up in this this energy is happening like this but i am oh yeah that's true and somehow it will change the game it will change the ratio the proportion very quickly like like this in one second it will change the proportion and you will feel already very spacious then you will focus on that which gives you spaciousness and joy which is your own self and you will naturally not focus on that this energy which is giving you trouble for some reason for practical reason you may still think about these things because next time it will again going to happen and i have to face it so i i want to prepare myself all that can happen that's all fine no but that will be not like overthinking or overcrowded or something it's like nicely is fine 
like one part of the one corner of my being is occupied by this energy and flow and thinking about it and so like this. I think it's it's nice. No? Thank you so much, Ji. Very nice. Correcting the things in the right simple way is very very effective. <laughs>